Hey guys, you are listening to Bilal Amjad and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to design a custom control to override built-in design of any control and for this purpose I will give a custom shape to my button control in Universal Windows Projects also known as UWP Project. So let's see what we have covered so far in my UWP video lesson series. So we have worked with the layout controls like relative panel, stack panel, a grid control etc to design our own layouts. We have also seen how to navigate from one page to another and how can we pass data with our navigation. We have also designed a hamburger menu using very new split view control in UWP. We have also worked with data binding and binding controls with properties of one control with another. I have also taught you how to design your own custom list view control to override existing layout content property. We have also integrated some web services, a kind of JSON APIs to get response from server. And previously we have done share contracts to see how can we share data from our application to other apps like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn which are already installed on your device. And yes, today we are going to design a custom control for branding and other UI related requirements etc. So why we need a custom design? Because not every time built-in design fulfills the customer demands. If he's following his branding, then he will ask to design custom control according to his branding. And then you have to follow that. And for that, you need some custom design of your controls and layouts so to make the UI according to the design of his product or the branding which he demands. And of course, if you want to provide a better user experience and much better and attractive user interfaces, then you need to provide custom design to your customer. So this is the default button style, a grayish background with black uh, foreground property. You can change background and foreground easily in Visual Studio. But what if the customer demands some icons or images on your button? like for as a content then you need to understand custom designing of any control mostly you can design all the controls in a similar way there is a minor changes in custom designing but if we design a custom button you can apply the, the same procedure on any control to give it a custom design so what we'll explore today we will see how to give a custom template to any control. We will also explore uh, some states of a button and we will see some other design attributes of any control. So let's get the ball rolling and see how this thing works. So guys I have already created an empty project in my visual studio just to save your time. And now I am going to add a button control to my uh, XAML page. It is simple. It is easy. I will say home. All right, this is appearing right here. I'm going to apply my own style and for that you can just right click your control or you can go to the document outline property and you can right click on the button from here. All right, then you can go to edit template, edit a copy or if you want to design the button from scratch, you can choose create empty. But for that you need uh, the knowledge of designing custom control so that you may design it from scratch. So I will choose edit a copy. I will say the name of my design is home button. We want to define this definition like a CSS file in where you design all the layouts related to your web design. You can define it in an application level as well so that you can access it on other pages. But as there are no other page on my application, I will just define it in my current document. I will say uh, it is home button. Okay. Now, Visual Studio will create the definition, the complete style inside your page or resources tags right above the main grid. Here. All right, like this. Now, here are some attributes which are common to in all the controls in XAML. I can now 
give some alignment to my uh, button control so I will say rather than aligning it to the left align it to the center of my page now the button control is appearing right here like this in the center of my page now I, if I reuse this style in any other button control it will automatically send a uh, center align in the page and I will uh, and there would be no need to define its alignment again and again so that's the benefit of designing uh, and uh, sharing uh, the design among con uh, con controls who share the common properties now I can assign some font weight maybe I will say light like this and you can even apply some font size and of course font family and some other properties here so now I want to upgrade this design according to the a design which is being appeared on your screen all right how can I ach uh, achieve this this is a this is a pretty simple I have chosen a very easy example for you here is the content presenter control who is responsible for displaying this content so never erase this content presenter from your design it is compulsory part of your button so first of all I will add a stack panel here I will say orientation is equal to horizontal and inside the stack panel I will place my content presenter like this now I need two text blocks and I will say the font family of this text block is MDL2 uh, asset font family which is the default font family of Windows 10 so okay let me tell you how to uh, assign that font family here just go to Sigoi sorry Sigoi MDL2 assets like this and let me align it to the center of this button vertically so now I'm going to assign it an icon and here is how you can assign icon of Windows 10 to any text block just go to symbols choose Sigoi MDL2 assets in the font as a font and here are all those fonts which are available by default in Windows 10 I have recently used this home and this arrow icon so I will just insert them to my document like this and I will use home icon and I will just place this icon like this here now I will copy this text block and I will paste this text block under the content presenter and as the orientation of this tag panel is horizontal so they will appear just in front of each other like this so uh, let me change the icon of this text block and I will choose this arrow from my word document and I will just place it here so now if I build my application so here is the output but there are some problems like when I'm hovering on this button this border is appearing around the content presenter and when I press it the, also the press state is not good I want to change this press state as well so how can we do that now there are some states in every button control and even in fact in every control so normal state is a state in which button is displaying in its normal routine like if I build my application this is the normal state of button so I want to override its press state like when button is pressed or if, uh, if you point your pointer over this button like this there are two states which we are going to override a pointer over and press state so let's override the design of pointer over here is the pointer over state so here are some properties being defined for your pointer over like they are targeting content presenter and they uh, and the border brush is being changed I will say they don't change the 
border bar. You can either assign it a null property so that it should not change the color of your content presenter like this. I'm building the application. Now if I uh, find my cursor over this button, now there is no border. So I have finished that border problem. Also, the foreground property of this button is being changed. This is becoming so this is becoming black on pointer word. I want that make it null as well. So when I point over my uh, button, the color of home changes to black. I want this home and this arrow icon to be black as well. So how we can target them? It is simple. Just give some name to these symbols. Maybe home symbol like this and arrow symbol like this. All right. Now go back to the pointer over state. Now I will say object using keyframes or you can just copy and paste these states right here twice because I have to change the color of two properties. So I will say target name is home symbol and arrow symbol like this. So now if I build my application, now uh, you are noticing that the color of entire content is being changed. But there is, uh, so I have fixed the problem with pointer over. Now I want to fix this problem with press state like this. So let's change this press state. You can uh, minimize this code. So uh, just let me remove the pointer over style and I will say rather changing the background of this color. You should target the opacity control opacity property of the root grid. All right. Root grid is basically the grid which is containing the entire button. All right. I am saying make its value 0 0.5. So whenever I press my button should um, uh, reduce its opacity to 0.5 from 1. So let's see this like this. So if you feel 0 0.5 is uh, not accurate, you can just increase it maybe 0 0.8. like this all right so this is how you can target certain properties of a button and you can even override the design of any button you can change the states of button not only button any control of xaml can be override like this so if you have any kind of ambiguity my contact details are being displayed on your screen just ping me on these contact details anytime Thank you for watching the video. Happy coding.